Good morning, my friends. It has been quite a while since I have done a video. I'm Clyde with PT3D, and today we're going to do a real quick video on the Anycubic Chiron. And the reason was is because I've had a lot of requests. So what we're going to do first is I did cheat a little bit. Let's pull this out of the carriage. I apologize. Um, if you notice, when you go to the setup window, you can go into your temperature settings. I have set my extruder temperature to 200 degrees Celsius and my bed temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. Okay? So that is where I'm at. Okay? The bed is just about stable. I've tried to do a little bit early on the uh, recording or the uh, setup side just so I could get that done. So how do I want to do this? I really want you guys to be able to see. So I'm gonna try and see if I can manually focus this. There we go. All right, so the trick to getting this thing level is not to mess with this, okay? When you initially get it, sure, try to get it as level as you can, leave it alone. There's a lot of different settings on this thing. Okay, number one, you can go, oh, sorry. You can go into tools, go to more, and level okay so the initially you can do the probe setting which is going to do it all over the bed okay this takes a while so i'm not going to do that to you right now you should do that at least one or two times when you first set up the printer make sure your bed is heated to the temperature that you plan on using um, i do pla of different forms so the nozzle temperature really isn't going to make a difference it's not going to affect your actual leveling but what will will uh, but what will affect it is this. This is a very large build surface. With a large build surface, you have the chance of things going wonky really fast because instead of just a small area that's slightly out of level that you can fix real quick, you have a huge level that you have to check. So you could have blemishes in your bed, okay? So anyway, what you can do, all right, if your bed is not level to your satisfaction, I will show you a trick for that. So give me one second. Let's do this real quick. We're going to go to the setup window. And, sorry. Tools window. Axis. We're going to go to where it says home. And we're just going to home this real quick. Make sure you have plenty of room behind your printer. Um, cable management. This is all kind of new cabling that I've done because I had to fix this a while back. So the wire gauge is a little bit heavier, so I had to actually use silicone wire to make sure that there's enough strain relief built in. All right, so one of the things that I do, let's see if we can get you up here real quick, just so you can see this. Um, I need a better angle because I want you to get the full, okay, there we go. So on the printer, You see these two lights, okay? There's a light over here, and there's a light over here. These are your, uh, what are they, not capacitive sensors, but they're, they're touchless sensors, so they use magnets and stuff. What you can do is, uh, let's see. Uh, what do I want to do here? Let's move our axis. Well, here, we'll just do this real quick. Let's see. Move our Z up 10. Move our Y 10. Move our X. Okay, so now we're going to rehome this real quick so you can see. Watch these lights. You want the lights to go on right about the same time and dim at right about the same time. And so watch those. And you'll see when they go out and then they'll come back on. Okay? That's what you want to make sure that one of them is not brighter than the other if you can avoid that. You try to get them, and if you have to, do it again until you're satisfied that you have what you think is level. Okay, once you get it done with that, I don't know if I have a print on here that I can use. I should have probably done that. Here we go, we'll use this one. All right, so this is prepping. I've already got it pretty close to temperature bed is just about stable 61 so a degree plus or minus shouldn't affect the overall levelness too much but it can 
So just in case that is the case, as soon as this thing starts, you'll see what I'm talking about. Come on. It's right there. I mean, it's at like 225. Let me uh, bring you back over here real quick because I would like you to see what I'm going to do next. Come on. It's going to hold that temperature for just long enough for trigger. All right, so now it's going to go and it's going to start printing, right? So it's going to do its wipe. That was drippy. And then it's going to start printing. Now, what you can watch for is it looks like I'm not extruding much, but it could be because the nozzle's too close, right? So, oh no, what do I do? So you go to the back, back button right here. And then you go into your back again, tools, more. Okay, if it's too close to the build plate, you wanna to go to your level settings to advanced settings, and you wanna to go to the plus, okay? So I'm gonna go up one and wait a second, and now I can see that it's printing really nice layer. See what I'm doing? And then if it's too far up, you just go, oh, I gotta get closer to the bed, so you go to the negative. And that's going to get you your nice squish. So that's when PLA, I mean, obviously you want a pretty good squish. So you want a good layer. So anyway, that is in a nutshell how I do this. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you next time.